feel time accelerate before my eyes. I laugh as the whole world spools forward at high speed, little figures dancing like puppets. My laughter quickly fades. I see MK's reach expand. They recover quickly from the events of the last few weeks, emboldened and out for blood. I see houses repossessed, families thrown out onto the streets. I see communities devastated by disappearances. I see police brutality. I see houses ignored and covered up. I see the fake news and the sensationalism. I see a fleet of drones blocking out the sun's rays. Okay, so another two turn timer. Okay, so network outage. Outage, yep. Eventually, MK grows bold enough to act more directly. Electricity, power, internet, they control it all. Only by their grace are neighborhoods heated, watered, connected. Now the privilege is revoked from those it de deems a threat. Alma is severed from the network. All the networks. Cauterized like a rotten limb. Okay, I checked. It's not just us. It's Alma. The whole neighborhood. No water, no power, nothing. Wait, they can't do that. Can they do that? Legally, no. They can't. Which means... Which means they're no longer operating under the rule of law. Ah, which means we got them. Okay, so... Ursula is censored. Jade's arrested. Or... MK's internal. I can't pick this one. No, I wanted to pick this one. Damn. Not that one. So it's this one. Okay. So Ursula is censored. Damn. A few days after the shutoff, nothing has been done. There was dissent and outrage from the residents, but the media looked away and the police refused to intervene. MK's confidence grows. MK are becoming bold. The old anarchists and would-be revolutionaries have been going dark for their own safety and mine. I don't blame them. Mm -hmm. First thing these assholes do is come for the dissidents. Yes, that's what concerns me. They call it the Blacklist, a record of figures whose work may not be published or sold under any circumstances. Ursula receives the notification in the morning. It takes until midnight for the news to sink in. So she's been blacklisted. Silence. Something my gut tells me this is the right choice. I'm sure, you know, you know what you. But I don't. I don't have any crystals right now, so I. Yeah, I kinda feel like I have to. Yeah. Which then goes all the way up there. Okay. Time rolls on without me. I choose to remain above the crunching, grinding interactions of cause and effect. I watch fate slide its pieces across the board and do nothing. But it is in it is in action laced with intent. I trust to fate. I watch the future unfold. This is so much more intriguing than the other one. Alma is sinking. They've held everyone hostage. The entire island of Atina feels the effects of MK's actions. Some more than others. This caused problems for MK too, but the message came through loud and clear. MK is Atina. Without services, without networks, and without support, Alma starts to wither on the vine. Children go to bed cold and hungry. The adults fear for the future. Day after day, people rush to the beach in mass. The rolling waves has become the only way to stay clean and sanitary. A smell wafts through the streets. 
decay. Okay, so another four turn timer. Okay, so now a fuel to the fire. Commune consumerism truly is a rigged game. I like how there's different timers forcing you to kind of go fully over. It's the oldest trick in the book. Create the problem, present the solution. Be the villain to become the hero. MK starts handing out vouchers, free accommodation, and hot showers, food, and shelter. The people flock to these new poor houses. Some end up temporarily barricaded in the very apartments they were evicted from. Even so, pro MK settlements grow bit by bit. Another group of prescients just left. Please don't tell me they. There's a new temporary accommodation center over at the old cinema. Mm -hmm. Hot food, uh, beds, heat. Damn. Of all people, they should know better. They should have seen. They do. They have. They don't care. They know we can't provide. Yep. Uh, maybe they, they thought they were doing us a favor. Reducing the mouths we have to feed. It's hard to look a gift horse in the mouth when it's the only thing standing between your child and starvation. The aspirations look over the situation with concern. Bond and truth will send people dreams to help them get through. Chaos and power send dreams of resistance. to do this one. With the last vestiges of connection to Reverie, MK pushes back. This new advertising campaign is ruthlessly effective, targeting those ground down by the constant unrest. Remember how easy life used to be? It says, remember when things were good? It works. At first. But the campaign pushes power and chaos most unlikely of allies to the breaking point. Together, they send the people visions of chaotic freedom enforced and created through strength. Endure, adapt, survive. Okay, that was cool. I like that. Endure, adapt, survive. Bond of Bliss will help them cope. Bliss and Bond meet to discuss the suffering. They embrace and talk for hours. Eventually, they come together in agreement. They will send pleasant dreams to the population. Islands of calm amid the storm. I like where we're going right now with this. A sense of peace falls across Alma. Taut and fragile, but it's there. The people are still downtrodden, but at least now they awake each morning refreshed. People dream of revolt. The aspirations continue to observe the situation with growing concern. Eventually, something snaps. Perhaps it was the rationing of water and the cancellation of the regular aid shipments. Or the police aid gone wrong, the body bags stacked in the streets. Either way, the aspirations of reverie chose to act together. When night falls, the population dreams of nothing but revolt. Justice achieved at the end of an improvised baton, tabletops fashioned into riot shields. Overthrow, revolt, resist. Okay, come on. There we go. All is lost. That doesn't sound good. The tide is turning against the people. Whether through fear or suffering or both, MK remains ahead. Their stocks, recently at an all-time low, rally. Investors' meetings end with smiles and handshakes. Alma remains off net. 
No journalists visit. No stories are posted. Feelings of hope and determination fade. The world appears to move on. Okay, so now another timer. Okay, so here, glimmers of hope. Just as the final glimmer of hope appears to sputter and die, a cinder catches. A newborn glow of possibility pulses faintly in the dark. Fragile, vulnerable, but there. Did I do this? Did I inspire this catastrophe? You, you, yeah, I, can't, I have no idea what that word is. Did I inspire this? Was the aspirations working as they promised? Or was the simplest explanation pure dumb luck? Okay. MK's logo is target practice. I can't pick I can't pick any of these because I don't have any crystals right now. That's kind of crazy to think about. I have no crystals, so I can't pick any of these. Wow. Very interesting. Okay. So I guess we go here then. Right, because like I unlocked this. Wait a minute. Nope, I can't even do that one. Can I do any of these? Nope. This is the only one I can do. An actual change. Okay. A change settles over the land. Though, no one can say where it came from. Monocons are loosens, loosens its grasp. Restrictions, restrictions are lifted. Networks reestablished. The residents of Alma react with confusion as a battle they didn't know they were fighting ends in apparent victory? It makes no sense. Everything that's happened, it has to have had an effect on their bottom line. Maybe that's why... No, Ursula's right. They don't think like that short term. This doesn't make sense. At all. But whatever the reason is, we should be thanking our lucky stars. I'm glad Yana's still alive. Monocons are in retreat, its presence still casting a shadow over the island, but its actions slow and stop. A new tomorrow. Across Atina, the air clears. Breaths are drawn of relief and sadness both. The skies are clear, the streets free of security personnel. For a while, there's joy. Don't like for the for a while aspect of that, but parties puncture the night silence, cries of happiness and passion, and tears over those who were lost. Jade and Nora confess their love. Ursula sits alone with two glasses. She taps her drink against the other and thinks of the man she has lost. Omar takes stock, toting up the precious number of priceless manuscripts destroyed by the needless discord. Yana is... Yana. They party and plan, never stopping for rest. But then reality returns. MK is... For all intents and purposes, gone. So what happens next? Okay, another timer. The hand of Fed. The news is bad. No, I'm serious. There's nothing left. Well, there must be something. Don't supermarkets have oh, I don't know. Interesting. stock or something? No, definitely not. That's what the supply chain was for. You know, the supply chain that just collapsed. Mm-hmm. 
food, energy, organized shelter. MK left a gaping hole at the center of Atina. And until something, government, charities, NGOs, arrive to fill it, there's not much left. Interesting. I actually really like this. I really like where this is going right now. Uh, for the people, by the people, nope. Peace to the pie, nope. Never again. Hard lessons have been learned. With MK gone, there remains a real risk of another wolf arriving at the door. Another corporation that seeks to control and dominate. So the first step in the reconstruction is to find is to phone is to found people's committees. Is to found people's committees. Groups of locals, experts covering everything from infrastructure to social mobility. Layers of checks and balances to ensure the fist of corporate control never again closes over Atina. Okay, a new democracy. Or... The Oxian Way. Well, it looks like no matter what, I'm not going to be able to get to the one I want to get to, so... Um, uh, we're going to go with the Oxian way. People get interested in the Oxians. Which they do. I like that option. A new idea starts to spread among the people left on the island. The new... The news ways failed. So why not return to the old? The news ways. The new ways fails. Soon, Omar and the preeminent expert on the Oxians is being sought after for advice. How did they govern? Reverie is real, so how can we live our lives in communion with our sister realm? People delve into dream logic, spend lucid nights exploring their psyches. The prescience tests the limits of their powers. Interpretation is difficult, but soon society shifts to accommodate the visions and directions of the dream world. I really like where this is going right now. 